Hey guys, it's Dr. Octoconopus again, and today I'm here to show you yet another attempt at Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th series. So, this one's from the remake, which came out in 2009. Remake, reboot, whatever. So it's really just a, it's an improved version of the last one I had. I think the last time I showed that was in the stop motion I did, the Freddy vs. Jason one. Yeah, I improved Freddy too, but I'll show him another time. Anyway. As you may know, the hockey mask is made out of a white racing helmet from the, which you can get. Uh, sorry, I got kind of tongue-tied there. Anyway, you can get these in the police bike sets, like the Lego City ones. Anyway, in case you can't really tell, I did drill some holes where his eyes are. Not all, not all the way through, but just like halfway through, so it has more depth to it. It's glossed. With gloss varnish. Mask, it, the mask is a lot more detailed, holds a more accurate, um, let's do a 360 view, much better than my last one. There's blood splatters on him, I um, thought that might be a cool effect to do. The machete is made out of a... A Lego Castle Sword from one of the newer sets. As an improvement, I smoothed it out a bit and painted the blade silver. And he has a little sheath for it. See, cut it out of that thing from Pirates of the Caribbean. Glued it onto his leg so the machete slides in and out. Sorry, I had to reach over the laptop. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Nice feature. And now if I can just get this back into focus. Here he is, unmasked. So that's that clone trooper head. He's got yellow teeth, blood splatters around his mouth. I think that's because he's like deformed. It's a birth defect. But I'm not sure if that, that's part of his deformity, but I remember he had blood splatters. 
in his face. I think it's going to get punched in the head a couple of times. Blind in one eye. The hair is definitely an improvement. Looks more like hair instead of just blobs of paint. There's pieces glued onto his feet to make him taller. Got the idea from Fucus 101. There's like a little tiled thing. Yeah, so that's Jason, unmasked. Let's just get a better look at the um, hockey mask from the inside and stuff. Yeah. And the final feature is his potato sack mask. Made of clay and a head. He wore this for a small portion of the remake. He also wore this for all of part two, but it doesn't it looks a lot creepier in the remake. Less like a potato sack, more like a like a sheet wrapped around his head, but I think it looks pretty, like it looks pretty cool. Usually for details on my clay pieces I use a little screwdriver thing like this. You can see the head, you can see the head in there. And yeah, that's Jason, so... I hope you enjoyed this... custom minifigure. Thanks for watching. Please tell me what you think in the comments, because I'd love to know your opinion. And see you next time.